That's disgusting. Okay, this is sick. Let's say that should go straight to the compost. Okay, that's the most disgusting thing I've ever seen. Welcome back to the channel. We are in the negatives today. We're heading into the chicken coop. I've got a little snack, some warm bread that we made for them and some hot water. We have to give them water a few times a day when it's this cold because it just totally freezes constantly. You guys want bread? In the winter we like to give them a few little snacks just to kind of keep them happy. It's a hard winter for everyone, especially for these chickens out here. They're subjected to all of the cold temperatures. Also came out here to get these lights. We put out some extra lights in the morning just to wake the chickens up. The sun's not coming up until about 10 o'clock that it gets actually light outside. And then it goes down very early as well. So they, they don't get much exposure to light if you don't give them any supplemental lighting. And these chickens, although they are still laying, they have slowed down a lot. I mean, we're only getting maybe a handful of eggs in a week, so not very much at all. Eric and I totally foresaw that we were not gonna have eggs this winter. And that's, I'm sure, what you came for in today's video. So we're going to head inside and check out what we got going on. This year we wanted to try something new for preserving our eggs. In the past we have always pickled them, but we went ahead and tried liming them. So I have hundreds of eggs back in this cupboard that we're gonna be pulling out today. Oh gosh, that's heavy. This is about as heavy as you would think it would be. It's very heavy. That is all eggs in there. I've got another five gallon bucket. We also have our pickled eggs back here, but we're gonna get to that a little bit later. I even have another jar of some more eggs. That weighs a lot. Okay. So first off, you may be wondering why our eggs were stored down there anyways, and that is because it is a very cool cupboard we have. It's the corner of our house, so it gets, it just stays very cold back there. And when you're liming eggs, I've read that you want to try to keep them in a colder temperature. They do not have to be in a refrigerator, and that is what is so great about water glassing. You may have heard that too. That's another term for it. Again, this is totally new for us this year. I'm pretty thrilled with it so far. We have popped into these, but we haven't really started eating them. And now, since the chickens are just not laying enough eggs for us, we are going to be breaking into these five gallon buckets. Each one of these five gallon buckets, we think has about 250 eggs. It's hard to say exactly because I didn't add them all at one time. I obviously had to collect the eggs and then add them to the solution over time. We started these back in May. So summertime, springtime, summertime, and they are like six, seven months old. So. Definitely some old eggs we've got on this table. We also have a partially full five gallon bucket under our table and this is just another gallon jar we have and you can see a great example of what the lime looks like so it will settle down at the bottom. If you are not familiar with liming eggs let me give you a quick rundown because it was new to me this year. So the first thing you have to start with is of course eggs. Fresh eggs too not store-bought eggs you wouldn't want to do it with those and some calcium hydroxide or pickling lime. It's easiest just to go by the full name in my opinion. This can easily be found online. It was extremely affordable for the amount I got and you can see we've done a lot of eggs and I still have a lot left. Lime and eggs has been around a long time for preserving eggs. 
back before people had fridges and freezers and all of that stuff. The neat thing about an egg that I don't know if most people really know this is when they are laid fresh, they actually do not need to be kept in a refrigerator. So you can keep them on your counter for weeks, sometimes even up to like two months and they are still okay to eat. Beyond the two month mark, you probably could move eggs to a cooler area and they'd stay okay for a few more months. But if you're really looking for like long-term storage, you have to do some sort of preservation. There's a lot of different techniques. We've just tried pickling in the past and that is really a favorite way of ours because it's simple, it's flavorful, they're good snacks. However, you don't always want a pickled egg. Sometimes you want eggs for cooking. And we just thought this would be awesome to try. A lot of you recommended it and I am very happy that we tried it. The process of liming them was actually quite simple. You start with fresh eggs. So generally like laid that day, probably you could do a day old egg and you layer them in a jar, you know, just a few at a time. Specifically, you wanna use ones that are clean too. You wouldn't wanna use one like this that's really dirty. And the ratio for this calcium hydroxide is really simple. It's one ounce per four quarts. So you take a little quart of water and you add an ounce, weigh out an ounce of this, let it dissolve in some warm water, not too hot, and then you pour it over your eggs and you just keep layering your eggs as you get them and you keep adding water with the correct amount of pickling lime until you get a full jar, something like this. Without further ado, we are going to pop these open and test the eggs out. This container to the left is our oldest one. Okay. And these things are... That's really on there. Yeah, you got to keep them snapped down so they're kind of a pain to open, but... Throughout this process, there was some troubleshooting and some learning. And I'll pass that information along to you. This one right here doesn't smell the best. <laughs> yeah, that's, it kind of smells almost like a, rot, like a rotten egg, I would say. It smells like a mild rotten egg and it does yeah. have the... That's the pickling lime scent. It almost smells musty. I've read that and I totally agree that that's... That's what I'm smelling. And then this one. Beautiful. Does it smell like anything? Crystal clear water. So what's going on with these ones? Why are these ones cloudy? And these ones don't smell and they're clear. This one took me a little while to figure out. We could actually smell these from our cupboard when I went to check on these. I checked on them probably a few months back. I don't know why, but I was a little uncertain about this process, especially because it's new to me. And because this is a really valuable thing here. This a lot is of eggs. hundreds of eggs that we would have eaten throughout yeah. the season, but mm -hmm. we saved for this. So this one, from what I can tell right off the bat is eggs are really heavy mm -hmm. when you start layering them on top. A lot of people recommend you don't put them in five gallon buckets. You do smaller ones. I would agree with that. I think, yeah. I'm pretty sure what's going on here is we have eggs that are cracked and that is what is leading to the unpleasant odor, right? And the color. Yeah. Yes. It's cloudy, not good looking. And you can even see big crack in that one. Yeah. You can see eggs with cracks. Totally just, and it almost looks black on the inside. I don't know about that one. These are going to be eggs that are probably going to be what we are going to call compost. No good. Yeah. Not safe for anyone. The preserving didn't work because it's cracked. Not good. Go into the compost. We'll have a really stinky compost for a while. Do you want to show one of those? And this is just beautiful. It's just an egg. And like Arrow mentioned earlier, pickled eggs are awesome. We love eating them and snacking on them. You can take them on the go. You don't have to cook them. They're hard boiled. These are just raw eggs in the shell. And supposedly you can just use these for, you can fry them up, you can scramble them, bake with them. So it's going to be nice to have just normal eggs. The pickling lime is supposed to work for about up to a year. Some people say it goes a little bit longer than that. From what I've read, I found that it is totally safe to still eat the eggs that look good in this batch over here. So something like this, if it doesn't have cracks and when I go to actually crack it open, it smells fine. Then the preservation did work. It's just that there's some egg in this mixture, which is what's leading to that unpleasant odor. So all in all, some of them are still gonna be okay. We're gonna make these dog eggs. Our dogs get eggs usually every day and yep. we're gonna verify they're safe. We'll crack open a few of the bad ones so we can tell the difference. And we're also gonna be cracking up a bunch of the good ones too, right? All right, let's get that bucket off the counter and we're gonna crack some of these eggs open and just look at them and taste them, see if there's a difference. Before we start cooking these, let's see just what they look like outside of the egg. So we got a fresh one here. I'm gonna crack that one in a second, but let's start with one of these water glass eggs. I mean, this one kind of has, the water glass one kind of has like a real fine powdery grit on it. I'm guessing that's the lime, but other than that, they feel and look the same. So let's crack one of these open. Well, I can tell right away the white part 
of that egg is like liquidy. It's not holding together. You can see it's just kind of, it went all over the plate. It smells like absolutely nothing. I can't smell anything on it. The yolk looks just like a regular yolk, but let's compare it to a fresh egg. This one's, I think this is either, I think this is like yesterday's egg, so. Huge difference. That fresh egg just holds together and fresh chicken eggs are, are known to be like that. So I wasn't surprised there. And this one, as far as smell, exactly they smell exactly the same they don't smell like anything so I'm, let's save these ones put these aside for a second this is that one that was all cracked uh in the one bucket that we're going to use for the dogs i don't know if this is because it's a bigger egg or what but it feels a lot heavier than those ones that's kind of weird let's crack it open okay this is sick oh <laughs> that's that's why we're not going to be eating those ones with the cracks that smells like a really extremely strong rotten egg it, and it looks disgusting so let's get rid of that one and this one also came from the cloudy bucket the same one we just got that cracked one from but this one is not cracked and these are the ones hopefully we're going to be feeding to the dogs let's see how this one looks i'd say not good I agree with you, that's that is not good. That's a bad one. We we have cracked open a few out of that dog bucket, the cloudy bucket, and some are good, some are not good, whether they're cracked or not. So on that one, we're just gonna have to kind of pick through them. And unfortunately, we lost some eggs in that batch. So we'll have to make some adjustments next year and hopefully that doesn't happen again. Typical way that we eat an egg around here, or the way we really like them, is just fried. So we got a cast iron skillet, we've got a little lard, we're gonna get this nice and hot, and I'm gonna fry those two that we just cracked in the plate there, and then we'll taste them and see how they differ from each other. In they go. This is the water glassed egg, and it's kind of all over the place, that white, so I have a feeling it's, it's gonna go all over the place in here. Oh, not too bad. Held together pretty good. Pretty much cooking like a normal egg. Honestly, that's pretty cool. We're gonna do this fried, so I'm gonna flip it once, get that one on the plate, and we'll cook that uh, fresh one. That looks pretty good. The fresh chicken egg is almost done. That one just looks like a fresh fried chicken egg. Ariel's gonna come in here with me and we're gonna see how they taste. These are just regular eggs, no salt, no pepper, just cooked in the lard. There's a few obvious differences, like Eric mentioned, the whites. Yeah, that one's spread out more and thinner. I read a lot of people like to use these eggs for baking, so not necessarily eating in this manner. Especially fried, and that's probably over medium. That's not like a really runny yolk. This one's a little runnier, the fresh one. What do you think? I don't know. I'm not... I really fried that skin. I'm a big egg lover, especially raw eggs. But being that this is so old and not preserved, how we usually do it, it's a little... Oh, it smells delicious. That's amazing. That's great. That tastes just like a fresh egg. Did you taste this one yet? No, I didn't take this one. This one's a little runnier. Yeah, that, did, that tasted surprisingly really good. Let's see if we can tell the difference. I'm gonna tell you right now, those are both delicious. That's insane. I don't know if I can actually detect any difference. There's I, there's a little texture difference. I think I, I fried that one a little more, you know, so it's the, more fried. the yolk was harder, which I probably prefer on that one. And this one, the yolk's a little runny. I don't know, that is delicious. I'm gonna try the old one. It's a little hard to tell because they were cooked a little bit differently. I feel like there was a slight difference and I think it may have been just that. I don't think there was actually a difference in flavor or color of the yolk or anything like that. I think they both tasted. Yeah, you still have that really like rich flavored yolk. You mm -hmm. know what I mean, that you get it from an egg. That was probably about a five month old egg too. That was crazy how good that was. Okay, what do you think, scramble some next? Yeah, let's try scrambling <laughs> some up. And we don't have that many fresh eggs right now, so we're just gonna scramble the um, water glass ones and see how these ones are. Let's just do three. Again, these ones just look like normal eggs. They just, the white is just a little more liquidy than a normal egg. I don't usually eat scrim. 
I guess we don't eat scrambled eggs that often. They're not my favorite. I like them. I like to switch it up. But and we eat quiches a lot. So we that's do. a lot of cooked eggs. When I was cooking these, they pretty much seemed like a normal scrambled eggs. I don't know if the, the yolk is a little more pale, right? Mm -hmm. Could have just been what the chickens were eating at the time. I just noticed that about it. But they're fluffy. They look good. How do they taste? I think we forgot to rinse these ones, so I am tasting a little bit of the pickling lime, but <laughs> they're pretty, they're good. They, to me, taste a little plain because they're cooked fully. But texture? Scrambled egg right there. A little salt and pepper on that would be really good. I'd eat these for sure. I would not have known those were old. Would you? No. No, not at all. That's the craziest thing. So I think so far our verdict is that this is a really awesome way to preserve these eggs. I noticed a few in the good batch have a crack. I've just seen two so far. I'm going to rinse them off and we'll see what's going on. Once they're cracked like that, if you catch that ahead of time, I wouldn't lime them. I think these ones cracked after the fact or maybe even from the weight of just sitting on top of each other. Who knows? Yeah. And sometimes our chickens won't get enough uh, calcium and their eggs will be a little bit thinner. And sometimes they're extremely thick, but you never know. And I add some salt and pepper to these scrambled eggs, and these are delicious. I cannot tell the difference between these and something we'd cook every day. We're going to go ahead and give these to the dogs and see if they pass the test. They look really good to me, even though they had a crack, and they smell. I mean, they smell totally fine. So I'm just going to use my, my brain on this one. I'm going to use our judgment, and I think these ones are safe. Yeah, the dogs will have no problem eating those. And I'm going to grab one egg in here, and I'm going to do kind of the ultimate test. I'm going to see if we can poach one of these. It might be kind of hard because of how thin and kind of runny they are, but let's give it a go and see what it looks like. Poaching eggs is simple. We have a saucepan with a little bit of water in there. It's almost boiling. I always put a splash of white vinegar in there and you crack your egg in there. You want to do it kind of low in there so it stays together. Hopefully this one stays together. Well, this is just like a yolk with a little bit of egg white on there because the white on this egg was so thin a lot of it kind of separated and I got a lot of fluff in here. But let's try this real quick and see how it tastes poached. I mean, it looks good. It tastes good. It tastes like a regular poached egg. It's just, it's pretty much, it's pretty much all yolk. This is another one that I started two or three months ago and it's a great example of how they should look. In fact, this one hasn't been disturbed. So there's like a little layer. It looks like kind of like ice on top of it. It's really clear and that's just the calcium hydroxide on top. You'll get that layer. It also settles down. The other ones we disturbed earlier since we've been pulling from them so they don't have that. We're gonna go ahead and close these and put them in our cupboard to keep them cool because it's probably gonna be a while till we break into this batch. Unfortunately, the fate of this cloudy batch is not looking as promising. I just cracked open a good one, but now it is mixed with bad ones. I went through about 15 of these and two of them were good. That was one of them. So didn't quite work out. This is probably going to be more of a loss. I'll go through these and see which ones are going to be safe for the dogs. Now that we've worked up our appetite, we are going to be checking in on our pickled eggs that we made back in April. Here's our pickled egg lineup. We were storing them in the same area as our limed eggs as well yeah and it's crazy that little area of our house is so cold these I feel like they came out of the fridge straight out of a refrigerator it's insane and these eggs will last a long time if you store them the right way these are eight months old about yeah they can last for years these are eight months we've been snacking on them these are the big jars we have not broken into these ones yet we've got the spicy one we've got the classic the beet one which is a new one for us and the soy sauce one which was also a new one for us the beet one lost its color we noticed that pretty much right away it's not that pretty anymore. No, I wanted a nice purple egg and it's kind of brown now. That happens sometimes <laughs> with natural preservation. So we're gonna, we're gonna be opening these up and trying them, right? Yep, these are the water glass ones. Let's get these ones out of the way. We haven't tried the beet pickled eggs at all. We have a lot of the smaller jars of these two. So let's start with the beet, right? Let's do it. Um, it doesn't look very good, but it smells pretty good. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty bummed that it didn't keep the purple color. And these are hard boiled. So these are out of the shell. <laughs> these are ready to eat. Pickling eggs is really simple. It's usually a 50-50 water to vinegar ratio. These ones yeah. we switched up just a little bit, put a lot of different ingredients. Cheers. Um, it smells like, I don't. You can taste the cloves. Yeah, we put cloves in there. You can taste cloves. Both of us are really big fans of pickled eggs. We 
When we pop open the spicy jar or the classic one, they can be gone in a day. These got a really beady flavor. I don't dislike them. I just I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what I think of. They do. They're, they're really. They're good. They're just not my favorite. I will say texture's good. Oh, the yeah. texture's really good. Nice, cold, mm -hmm. firm egg. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can totally. It, it's like a holiday egg. Yeah. Put that one aside, and we have tried these ones, but not an aged batch. Yeah, we tried these one, and they're maybe two months old, a month old. Yeah, and I had found that the texture, I couldn't tell if it was the soy sauce that did it. It's also possible some of the eggs we were using were maybe a month to two months old when we did this, of the pick, when we pickled them. See how they're kind of falling apart a little bit? The soy sauce, I think, is like a natural tenderizer, so we noticed these ones a while ago, months ago, when we ate it. That the yolk just had a different consistency. Uh, they're mushy. They're a little mushy. Here, let me get one out of here that's not. I think not. Maybe. Yeah, <laughs> just unfortunately, it's hard to tell, but that yolk, you can almost push on it, and it's just extremely soft, like a, like Play-Doh. Maybe these would be really good in egg salad. Egg salad, yeah. Yeah, mashing them up. That's just kind of a bummer. I want to try one of those. They're all kind of, you know, they're Why don't all. We try a carrot or something to get a little flavor. I think, because I can smell all the aroma. There's a lemongrass, green onion, garlic, and ginger. Oh, that's what it is. I mean, the brine's really good. No, it's actually really good. Let me try the egg white, just to see. Yeah, even the white. Whoa. We only made a few batches of these because they were new to us. Mm -hmm. If any of you tried the soy sauce, tell us if you're having that same thing. We like to let our eggs sit for a long time. You can eat them right away. You can eat them what? Really absorb the flavor, yeah. So these are very old, and that may have contributed to the unpleasant. Mushiness. That's a bummer. I've had these ones in the fridge. We were just snacking on these ones. These are the classic ones. So instead of opening up a new jar, we'll try one of these. Classic is probably my favorite recipe. It's a little bit of sugar and dill. Yeah. I like the herbs. At the jalapeno or the spicy one is the one that Eric's been doing for a very long time. Yeah. Classic is always good. Man, we've eaten a lot of eggs right now. <laughs> we've eaten like nothing but eggs today. Oh, you can totally. The coriander and the dill. These ones still, they're a little mushy. Mm -hmm. But not like this soy sauce one. I mean, this is staying together pretty nice. It's a little soft. It's a hair soft for my taste, but it's still pretty good. Last up, we're going to give the spicy one a go. That has the hardest consistency out of any of the ones I've just cut open today, or you have. Oh, yeah. That's perfect. That's really firm. Dry yolk. Woo, that was spicy. I know. I just all of a sudden got a spice on that one. Those ones are really good as far as, like, in my opinion, consistency. Very no smush, just nice, firm, firm. Good flavor all the way throughout. <laughs> Those, Those are, are great eggs. That That's habanero in there yes, and jalapeno and serrano. Extremely hot. That's why that's a hot one. Those are, those, those actually are probably my favorite. Then I'd say the classic. Unfortunately, the soy sauce ones, just, they just didn't do it. I, I personally wouldn't make the soy sauce ones again. I probably would not make the beet recipe again either. I don't know if that's just me saying that. I agree. The beet was kind of a cool idea. You're going to get a nice purple egg, but since they didn't even give us a purple egg in the end. I would just stick with the classics. That was a lot of eggs to eat at one time. I'm <laughs> egged out. Yes, I agree. I usually love eggs, but I'm a little egged out as well. <laughs> and I think we have more than enough to last us this winter, which is awesome because the chickens here in this climate, they don't lay that much in the winter. They give us an abundance of eggs in the spring oh and gosh, summer months. Yes. Hands down, and fresh eggs always better. Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> I would always, always want a fresh egg. But these are fun ways to try it if you're looking to store a small amount. We're looking to do it for a very long time term and a lot of eggs yeah like you know, well first off like you said we totally rather have a fresh egg but that's just how it is up here that's even how it is with our vegetables in perfect world we wouldn't be doing all this canning we'd be eating fresh things out of the garden just like we'd be eating a fresh egg but the pickled eggs like i said they're a great snack they're quick they're already cooked the water glass eggs or the lime eggs i was actually pretty impressed with them they taste a lot just like a fresh egg just little differences totally agree both ways take up quite a bit as far as like volume for storage. Yeah. So do plan on that if you're doing this many amount of eggs. And the neat thing about it is both the liming and the pickling do not need to be stored at like fridge temperatures. Right. So you can store these at room temperature. It's ideal to store them cooler temperatures, but our eggs have been stored fairly warm 
and they're doing okay for the most part. And the chickens will pick up again in the spring, so we do yeah. need to go through these eggs, so we're gonna eat them. We're definitely gonna be eating a lot of eggs this winter. We hope you enjoyed our taste test or taste comparison. Yep, we enjoyed it and we're definitely happy with how it turned out. We got a lot of eggs to eat. Eggs. <laughs> I think it's the soy sauce. The soy sauce is like a natural tenderizer, isn't that what it, what it was saying? <laughs> really? Both of us. <laughs> Why does that one smell? <laughs> Unfortunately, the fate of this cloudy batch is not... Oh, that was a good one.